So, so far in our embedded project, we've acquired a waveform through our analog input, brought it onto our FPGA, and then streamed it up through a DMA channel up to our microprocessor. Once it was on our microprocessor, we did some initial analysis. Now, we're going to complete a data logging task on our microprocessor. So, let's look at our LabVIEW project. Let's expand out our embedded target, double click on our microprocessor application, and then go to our block diagram. Again, on the block diagram, we've already implemented some code. In our upper loop, we've pulled information from our DMA FIFO and put it into a real time FIFO to communicate with our lower loop. In our lower loop, then, we're going to dequeue some of the information and log it to disk. I'm going to right click on the function palette and go to our file I.O. palette. You'll notice on the file I.O. palette that there's multiple methods to actually write to disk. In this case, we're actually going to use uh, the write to binary file because it's optimized for disk space. We're also going to drop down our open file and close file. The next, we're going to wire a reference between these different blocks in order to link them together in data flow. We're going to then specify a file path, again, located on our embedded system, and then specify the operation that we're doing. In this case, we're going to replace or create the file on disk. We're then going to wire our, our airline to propagate errors in our real-time application. Propagating errors is especially important in headless devices such as this microprocessor so that we can, uh, we can uh, gracefully end the application if an error does occur. And then finally, we're going to wire up the data that we're going to write to file. So now we've completed our data logging application in which we pulled information off our DMA FIFO brought it down to our lower priority loop, and wrote it to our binary file. 